So Michelle Obama was here in Southern California about a week ago. One night she was on Leno, the next day she was on Ellen, and they had reporters all over the place documenting everything Michelle Obama did. And I think all of this, well, there's a twofold reason for Michelle Obama doing this. One is the book that came out and said that she is still an angry black woman, and so she's on her charming black woman tour. Also because Obama is running for re-election, and this is part of the Obama re-election campaign. I've got a couple of television news reports you've got to hear. And i got to warn you, you might throw up just a bit. First Lady Michelle Obama comes to town to try to get people to eat healthier. The visit is part of the First Lady's Let's Move campaign. And she's also going to do a little campaigning while she's here in town. KTLA's Elizabeth Espinosa is in Inglewood with more on Mrs. Obama's visit. Elizabeth? Glenn and Leela, right? Why not do a little campaigning while you're here in the sun? As you said, in fact, the First Lady, Michelle Obama, was at a fundraising luncheon at Hancock Park, $1,000 a plate, not bad, and also taping with Ellen DeGeneres on her show. But before all of that, she was here, right behind me, the Northgate Gonzalez Market, coming soon. Not built just yet, but the idea here was to promote healthy living. Okay, so Michelle Obama appears at a grocery store that's not open yet. All right. Now, you know this was planned well ahead of time. But for whatever reason, these idiots could not get the store open for Michelle Obama's visit. They showed up. Michelle Obama comes in with her entourage. Mayor Antonio V. Ragosa shows up with his entourage. And then everybody leaves and the store is closed. The store that's supposed to be supplying this neighborhood with healthy food. <laughs> Morning, Inglewood. Yes. The First Lady, Michelle Obama, is in Los Angeles promoting her Let's Move campaign, an effort to get more Americans to eat healthy and exercise, especially our kids in underserved communities. That's why she said, I'm here today because I believe that every family in our country should have access to healthy food. Okay, you want to tell me how Michelle Obama is separating herself from whoever these people are that don't believe people should have access to healthy food? Who is that? Who is she arguing with? Mrs. Obama congratulated the Gonzalez family for building another one of their family-owned Northgate Gonzalez supermarkets to this underserved community, this one opening soon off Lenox and Prairie. The first lady just introduced you to all this press. How do you feel? I feel honored and, and blessed uh, to be to be uh, to have the opportunity to meet her, and and uh, it shows her commitment to to our community. Uh, if it wasn't for the first lady, we would not have a market in this neighborhood that brought us good food. What? I don't believe this. How is it? That Michelle Obama, all the way over in Washington, D.C., 4,000 plus miles away, is the only reason that these people have any hope of having a grocery store that sells healthy food. The fact is, these neighborhoods like McDonald's, they like Jack in the Box, they like Taco Bell, and Michelle Obama coming into Inglewood is not going to change those people's habits, even though this guy is indicating that without Michelle Obama, we wouldn't have this. Are you eating your vegetables too, though? I'm eating my vegetables. Oh, without Michelle Obama, uh, there was no way that I was going to know that eating vegetables was the right thing to do. So now, now I'm eating vegetables. I wasn't yesterday, but since Michelle Obama came to town, I'm eating vegetables today. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Come on. If only Michelle Obama could be here every day. If only Michelle Obama could be everywhere, in every city, in every town, all across the United States, Americans would eat right. Because without Michelle Obama, Americans don't know that they should be eating vegetables. Americans don't know that they should be eating fruit. Thank God for Michelle Obama. She's going to single-handedly change the way Americans eat. And if you don't change the way you eat, they're going to make laws that force you to eat the way they want you to eat. Here it gets really bad. They're talking to school kids now. 
these LAUSD students say they certainly yearn for healthier school menu choices. Because I want to be healthy my entire life. I want to live a long life. And, like, I just, I just think that someone should be making a stand and, take, like, taking a stand and doing the right thing. Okay, listen. Kids in grade school, junior high school, and for the most part in high school, don't care about the menu or how healthy the menu is. All they want is food that tastes good. You remember the LA Unified School District is the district that, that banned chocolate milk and strawberry milk. What happened? Kids are drinking less milk. <laughs> But uh, M Michelle Obama is going to talk kids into eating right. And this kid who's talking about how much she wants to eat right and she wants to be healthy her entire life, she can't do it unless Michelle Obama comes to town? Because I want to be healthy my entire life. I want to live a long life. And, like, I just, I just think that someone should be making a stand and, take, like, taking a stand and doing the right thing. Hey, look, you little putts, I've got a great idea. Why don't you take a stand and you do the right thing on your freaking own? Nobody needs Michelle Obama barreling into town and having a press conference at a grocery store that's not even open yet with Mar Antonio Villarigosa. And then everybody says, oh, now I remember. I'm supposed to eat healthy. Damn, this is stupid. Oh, if not for Michelle Obama... Flying into California from Washington, D.C. at taxpayers' expense, I wouldn't know that I'm supposed to make healthy choices when I eat. Unfortunately, it gets worse. It gets more nauseating. Take, like taking a stand and doing the right thing. Folks here say that she did. Most also told me she looked great in those bright California sunlight colors. Uh, it's unbelievable how many times, every time Michelle Obama is on TV, we got to talk about how beautiful she is, how wonderful her clothes are. Oh my God, she is a fashion plate. Michelle Obama is the most fabulous looking woman ever in the history of mankind. I can't believe this crap. This is a report on the television news. Most also told me she looked great in those bright California sunlight colors. Good grief. This is more of the reporter talking to school kids. Did she not look so fresh like a vegetable with those colors? <laughs> she looked so pretty. So pretty. It was really exciting because she's like really um, inspirational and famous. And to be able to go to school and say, I met the first lady is really cool. I'd be embarrassed if I met the first lady. If I met Michelle Obama... I don't know that I would tell you on the program. <laughs> I don't know if that gives me any credibility at all. Oh, guess what? I met the first lady, and oh my God, she looks so good in her California colors. <laughs> oh, I can't take it. Here's the reporter on KTLA. Channel 5 in Los Angeles, closing her report. All right, so back here live, speaking of, right, healthy living, we got onions, cactus, bell pepper, banana. You know what? They actually gave away the groceries that they had in there to the invited guests and elected officials. Los Angeles Mayor Antonio Villarregosa was also here. So I've got my lunch, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh fruit. See, I'm following orders. She even says, I'm following orders. That's the whole point here. Americans are not ordered to eat healthy. Americans in America, we get to eat whatever the hell we want to. If I want to eat, I don't know, raw liver, that's what I get to eat. Anything I freaking want. And this woman says, oh, I'm following orders. I'm eating a banana because Michelle Obama told me to. That's disgusting. That is absolutely off the chart disgusting. Just the way the first lady said to do. Wow. Okay, she's not being funny. She's not being cute. That's disgusting. I'm eating this banana for lunch because the first lady told me to. I wish Michelle Obama would tell me what to eat. 
would try to tell me what to eat. Oh, I think you should eat a banana and a tomato and do a push-up and then eat some eggplant. Now, I got a better idea, Michelle. I'm going to eat two cheeseburgers, an order of fries. I'm going to have a chocolate shake. I'm going to come home and be sedentary, smoke a whole pack of cigarettes, <laughs> and f*** you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fresh fruit. See, I'm following orders just the way the first lady said to do. <clears throat> that is one of the most annoying pieces of audio I have ever played on the program. Ladies and gentlemen, fresh fruit. See, I'm following orders just the way the first lady said to do. Okay, there was a second report here on KTLA, just a portion of this to illustrate for you the kind of hysteria that uh, went through Los Angeles news reporting when Michelle Obama came to town. The First Lady should be arriving at an event in Inglewood. Uh, actually, she already has uh, arrived. She's actually early. She showed up early. I heard 15 uh -huh. minutes from Lynette Romero. Lynette, did you get a glimpse of our First Lady and tell us about the events going yeah. on today? You know what? It was so quick, you guys. It's funny because you expect the presidential motorcade to kind of always be running late because it usually is. Uh, they are politicians after all, but boy, the first lady, no, no, no. She was here not on time, not late, but yes, definitely early. They're already inside here. We're here in Inglewood. This is going to be the future Northgate Market, and it's one of um, Michelle Obama's uh, pet projects. You can see that she's already on stage. They've been having some um, remarks. Mayor Viragosa has been on stage as well, introducing her and talking about the big push. Her big push since she's been at the White House, since she's been the First Lady, has been to fight childhood obesity. She wants to get families moving, and she wants kids to start to eat healthier, and she wants children to start to exercise with their parents and make it a whole family affair. In fact, last night, she told Jay Leno that she can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the president, no problem. Okay, and then they play some audio from Leno. I do have some audio, so I'm going to uh, cut off KTLA there. And in fact, you can click the link and watch the Jay Leno episode if you want to. There's no reason for me to continue to play audio of Michelle Obama. You get the idea. It's like the second coming or something. Ooh, Michelle Obama's in town. Stop the presses. She's telling people to eat vegetables. It's healthier. Stop the presses. Extra, extra, read all about it. Michelle Obama notifies America that eating vegetables is healthier than not eating vegetables. Blah. There was an article at the Christian Science Monitor. Michelle Obama, why is she going on Jay Leno? Hollywood is getting ready for an Obama sighting. This will advance the president's agenda, political analysts say, as well as bring in money for his campaign, amass much-needed face time beyond the Washington Beltway, and help sell the Obama brand name. The ostensible reason for her visit is to celebrate the second anniversary of her Let's Move campaign against childhood obesity. By the way, I am not in favor of childhood obesity. Just because I speak out against Michelle Obama for so many reasons, does not mean that I am in favor of childhood obesity. Look, it is easy to end childhood obesity. It's not about the food, necessarily. You can have kids eating at McDonald's and they can still get plenty of exercise. You unplug the computer and unplug the television. Get your asses outside. That's not exactly how my mom said it. But I think I told you before, my brothers and I would come home and we'd turn on the TV and watch the gong show. And my mom knew we loved the gong show. But after the gong show was over, whatever was on TV next, we would be watching until mom walks in the room, shuts off the TV, that's it, outside. Kids will be sedentary if they're allowed to be. I think by and large, as human beings, we are prone to be lazy. So as long as parents are allowing kids to sit in front of the computer, sit in front of the television, and not do anything physically, that's what kids are going to do. But uh, boy, I guess because parents are not doing their job, now we get Michelle Obama. <laughs> Great. 
Michelle Obama was on Jay Leno talking about her cookbook. I'm not going to play audio, like I said. But there's an article here at the Huffington Post. Michelle Obama cookbook, American Grown, to be released April 2012. This is all part of the ad campaign, the the campaign for re-election of Barack Hussein Obama. They've got a nice picture of the angry black woman. Oh, but she's smiling, standing in her White House garden. Michelle Obama may not be a chef, but we have a feeling that it won't matter. Michelle Obama's first cookbook, (laughs) American Grown, How the White House Kitchen Garden Inspires Families, Schools, and Communities, will go on say, wow, what a title. Blah. (laughs) Oh, Michelle Obama is inspiring families, schools, and communities now. The book will tell the story of the White House kitchen garden and also focuses on healthy, affordable food for families and communities across America. What do you bet Michelle Obama doesn't lift a finger in cultivating that garden? What does she have, 25, 30 different people working for her? You know that there are people on that White House staff, on her personal White House staff, that are working in that garden. That's it. Michelle Obama, I'm done. I've had all I can take of talking about Michelle Obama. (laughs) I love that.